Hello Sagittarius, welcome to another weekly tarot forecast here on Dove and Serpent Tarot. This is for the week of August 1st through August 7th. Please like, comment, and subscribe to this channel. If this resonates with you, there is an extended version of this reading and you can uh, get all the information for that down in the description box of this video. So let's find out what is in store for Sagittarius for this coming week? What is the message for you? What is it that you need to know? Uh, we're going to find out what kind of messages, what kind of insights, and what kind of information you need to know for this coming week. All right, let's do it. Knight of Wands, Two of Wands, a lot of fire, a lot of fire cards today. This is going to be exciting. Where to start with this? Um, I think that there is still this um, kind of a, an idea of um, very rushed and hurried energy with you. I feel like you're still really kind of frantic, really, really busy, really, really eager and motivated to get something started. And I think this is going to be just a really good a really good energy for you, but I don't see that it's really focused anywhere. I think this is kind of something that you have to kind of get a hold of this energy. You have so much of this power and this, this force and enthusiasm that it really comes down to trying to focus it into the proper channel for your success. Okay, first off, we've got the Knight of Wands. The Knight of Wands is just rushing out to get things done. Doesn't really care where it's going or how it gets there. It's just, it just gets up and it goes, it moves. It has this force, this fire, this energy. Uh, this motivation, this power, determination, all of those very active keywords um, are what this Knight of Wands contains and represents. And so I think this is in large part the situation that is is um, arriving for you this week. I think you've probably already had some beginnings of this, and I say that because we have the Prince of Wands here as the recent past. So I feel like maybe in the previous week, or in the last few days, you've been feeling even more restless, even more um, with this nervous energy that's just kind of itching to get started with something, right? And I think that's really, really going to, to mature this week. I think that's really going to come out in full force is this restless, motivated energy that is going to start moving this week, okay? And I say that this week is going to be the time of gaining that focus, and bringing all of that energy into a, a concentrated state. And I say that primarily because we have the Two of Wands here today. Now, the Two of Wands is this focused kind of fiery energy. It's taking all of this kind of restless but motivated, very energetic fire that is just wants to get out and do everything and anything, doesn't care where it's going or what it's doing as long as it's being active and, and as long as it's releasing this energy, right? But with the Two of Wands, we see that this is now under the control of your will. Okay, so this is all of that fiery, active energy that now you are starting to get a handle on. And I really think that you're going to be able to focus this into some new areas, focus this really on on whatever it is that you are determined to do. And I think in the past, in the few days at least, and into the beginning of this week too, I'm imagining, you kind of don't know where to go with all of this energy. It's like you have this kind of, you know, this, this really determined and enthusiastic attitude, a lot of this pent up energy, this restless kind of fury, but you don't really know where to go with it or what to do with it or how to apply this to your success to your life to the things that you want right so i think this week is really going to bring a little bit more focus um, i think a lot of this energy is going to come under the control of your will like i said and you're going to get a better handle on it and you're going to be able to direct it where to go uh, another clue that is leading me to this kind of conclusion is the six of swords and the Six of Swords, the key word for this card is science, okay? So this is just such a harmonious plan. This is a balanced thinking. This is calm and clear thought. This is a, a thinking mind that is very much in control of this fiery active energy. So this really is a nice, very nice progression of energy. 
going from all of this restless fire into a more balanced control, using your mind, planning things out, um, formulating your ideas in a clear way, and then you're going to be able to apply all of this energy to whatever it is you want. So it's like you've got You've got this abundance of, of energy and force and fire and vitality and determination and ambition. And now it's just about applying it to the right, uh, the right materials, the right circumstances in order to get things done and get what you want. Okay. Um, further indications of all of this, more fire, emperor card as the shining influence on this situation. And this is literally control of the fiery the fiery energy, the element of fire. Okay. Um, and Sagittarius being a fire element, um, I think uh, a fiery sign, I think this is really right up your alley. I think this is really very much in tune and in harmony and very, um, very synchronistic with your energy right now. I think having all this fire here in this reading, and there's a little bit more to come too, which we'll get to. But this emperor energy, um, while this card rules the sign of Aries, and we're talking about you, Sagittarius, you're still a fire sign. And I think that this is really uh, advising you, or not even advising you, but just showing you that you have this capacity to get control of this fire element, to direct all of this kind of restless fury into a very calm, controlled, confident, a very willful, a very authoritative uh, direction. And of course, using your skills, your plans, your abilities, your thinking mind to formulate your plan and to get a, a rational uh, system in place in order to push all this fire, fiery energy. And I think that you're doing that with your, your confidence, with your, your emperor nature, right? This uh, calm, authoritative, very much in control, very much the boss of your own being, your own energies. And so I think this week is really about you harnessing all of that fire and applying it to whatever it is that you want, okay? And I feel like what you want really is coming from this very uh, deep spiritual um, connected kind of place in you because we have the star as the foundational card. So I really think that you're looking for a purpose in life. I think you're looking for a connection to the spiritual world. You're looking for some spiritual insight, a little bit of spiritual guidance. And you're really, I think, looking for that area in the universe, in the world, in your community, in your life, where you can apply all of your strength and energy and vitality, all of this fiery energy. You want to know where it should all go. And I think you're waiting for a sign from the universe to kind of help you with that direction. You're waiting for some guidance, both from the spiritual world, but from your inner self, your true self as well, that is going to point you in the direction of your real purpose in life and where you should be directing all of this fiery, fiery, very just, it's such a fury that I feel that you're just like chomping at the bit. You're ready to go. Okay. And I think you're going to get a handle on that this week and you're going to end with this with this six of swords, this plan, you're going to start formulating your ideas. <clears throat> Excuse me, I got a tickle in my throat. Um, you're going to really get a handle on all of this energy and you're going to find the proper channels <clears throat> for it to be, to be um, released, to be expressed. Okay. Furthermore, more fire cards. We have the Aeon card. The, this is a major arcana card. This is a heavyweight card. <clears throat> This really is um, about some new avenues in life. This is about uh, new channels. <coughs> Excuse me. And no, I'm not just trying to show my cool dove and serpent coffee mug. <coughs> I got a tickle in my throat this morning. Uh, it's probably all this incense. Um, so this is really the next step, the next phase in your life that I feel like all of this fiery energy is going to be opening up this new door. It's going to be opening up this new avenue for you in life. And I really think that, I mean, these two are heavyweight major arcana cards. <coughs> these are two of the best cards in the deck, in my opinion. And I really think that you are um, going to be breaking through to the next level of your life. And I think it's really about finding your purpose it's really about um, closing off some of those old uh, pathways, those old endeavors, some of those, maybe those past interests in life, some of those old areas where you were 
expending or maybe wasting some of that fiery energy. Uh, I feel like it's not going to be the same expression of that fiery energy that you're used to. It's not going to be just the same old ways that you've, you've done things in the past. It's going to be literally a brand new opportunity, a brand new path for you with all of this energy. So that's a very heavyweight card. Again, more fire. It's all about that fire again for you, Sagittarius. I feel like fire was a really important element in, in your last week's reading too. Um, but anyway, moving on. <clears throat> we do have one more fire card. This one is a little bit more abstract. It's the sun card. This um, It's still kind of a fiery card, right? Uh, and I think that this is really your hopes and dreams for the future of where you are you're fulfilling your purpose. So if the if this star represents your search for a purpose, your understanding of your purpose, your figuring it out and receiving that kind of divine guidance and that spiritual insight into what your purpose is, that's the star card. Well, what is the sun but our very own star, right? So this is you acting out that purpose. This is you living that purpose, being that fully realized, fully uh, fulfilled uh, solar being, okay? So this is you expressing the purpose and all of that insight that you found here. This is you just becoming that, okay? And so I think this is your ultimate like wish or goal or dream or your highest ideal of what this situation could become. And so I think it really is a meaningful week for you. I think there's a lot of major arcana here just in these group together really. And I think that this group of cars is really showing that this is a major life event for you. It's a major turning point in your life because we have the Aeon card. And that is um, very indicative of closing the door for the old way, for the old life, our old path, the old way of doing things, and really opening up to these new vistas of experience, these new vistas of expression, of self-expression, of this energetic expression. Further, we've got the High Priestess. Now, this is showing such an influx of this love and beauty and success and happiness into your life. Um, I really think that um, the, the, the universe is going to be responding to you, and you're going to see an increase in all of these wonderful, beautiful things with you because you've channeled this fiery energy and you're applying it to your life's purpose, your true purpose. <clears throat> However... The High Priestess card can also indicate that there's a little bit of an unknown aspect to this. There's a little secret somewhere that you are yet to discover. And I think this uh, may have to do with some people around you, uh, your close friends or family, loved ones, your inner circle kind of thing, because this card is in the position of the other, right? So if the Eon represents you and where you're going, the High Priestess represents everything else, everyone else. So I think in this instance, it is saying that there you're going to be, I think, pleasantly surprised by the people around you. Either they're going to be very sympathetic with your, uh, your new plans, your new life, your, your new um, adventures, or your new path in life that we're seeing with the Aeon card. They're either going to be really harmonious, really in tune, really sympathetic with that. Or you may even find that that their purpose is perfectly aligned with yours, and you never knew that. So it's going to be some sort of a very pleasant surprise, but there is an unknown factor, an unknown uh, quality with the, the people closest to you in life, right? Your friends, your family, your loved ones, etc. So there is something going on there that you will be discovering that I think you'll find is very, a very pleasant surprise. I think it's going to be something where they are very much in tune with your purpose, or maybe it's a shared purpose. Maybe you're going to find out that this is kind of something that they've always wanted to do or that they are already doing. You just never knew, or they have the same kinds of uh, thoughts and feelings, the same philosophical outlook as you. There's something that's going to be revealed in terms of your close friends and family, your loved ones, that is going to really resonate with you. And it's going to be, I think, a wonderful chance to bond and connect with, with those other people. Now, interestingly, we have this card as our kind of long-term outcome card. And this is the Eight of Cups. And this kind of signifies a loss of interest in things that may be, um, may be down the road in the next few weeks or few months, you're going to 
kind of see that some of your fire is being extinguished, that maybe you're losing some of this fiery energy that we have here, um, that maybe <clears throat> there's going to be a little bit of water poured on it that's going to just kind of dim the fire a little bit. Uh, maybe not extinguish it completely, but certainly, certainly temper it a little bit. But I don't think this is a, a warning or a, a foreshadowing of disaster or of a literal loss of interest. I think what this card is signifying is that um, this fiery energy cannot be sustained forever, right? There needs to be a break. There needs to be some ebb and flow. There needs to be some waxing and some waning of this energy. You can't just go, go, go 110%, 24, 7, 365, right? You have to pull it back sometimes. So I think what this card is signifying is that you want to make sure that you take care of yourself so that you don't extinguish that fire. Okay, I think this is saying also that, you know, you will experience moments of a loss of enthusiasm, a loss of energy, a kind of uh, a waning of your interest in whatever it is that you're doing, whatever these new vistas are. You're going to maybe experience a little bit of a downturn in your excitement about it. It might seem a little boring at times, but that doesn't mean to give up. That doesn't mean that it's really not your true path. You know, this is, a, I think, a very common thing where we we're very excited to start something new. Um, once that initial excitement wears off and we start to feel that it, it's actually work, it's actually... Um, you know, just a little bit more mundane or routine than we initially thought. And that initial excitement can wane. It can be extinguished more or less. But I think um, the key takeaway there is to not give up on it just because we've lost that initial excitement. Just because that, that honeymoon period is over, it doesn't mean that uh, you shouldn't stick to your path, right? So I think that's what this card here is signifying, is that be prepared for kind of a downturn in your enthusiasm and your excitement about this, but don't give up. Don't, don't use that as a reason to just to quit and give up and, and be lazy. No, you got to push through that, that phase. Um, and I think you'll regain that excitement. You'll, you'll gain more of this emperor, which is the, the calm and controlled fiery energy, which isn't just rushing and burning with that fury 24, seven, 365. No, the emperor is in control, knows how to pull it back knows how to temper it, knows how to control it and channel it and concentrate it at the right times, but then also to uh, let it rest at the, the appropriate times. So Sagittarius, I think this is really wonderful. And I really think that this is a, a good continuation from the last week's reading that we did for you. Um, I hope you'll leave me some comments and let me know um, if this resonated with you and, and how things are, are working out for you this week. Um, I appreciate you very much for letting me read for you today. This was your weekly tarot forecast for the week of August 1st through August 7th on Dove and Serpent Tarot. Uh, you can stick around for the extended version of this reading. All the information is down in the description box, and I thank you again.